In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update your accelerated learning plan, the ALP, with or without the ALC notes. So to do that, we're going to log into Eduforia Aware. We're going to come down to our Students tab. And first, I want to find a list of all my students who have this form assigned. And so I can, in the search bar, start typing ALP. If you have any with Spanish, you would click on that form. I'm going to click that. Form, it'll pull up all of my English forms and then these are all of my students 18 who ha currently have this form assigned and I can one at a time view and update those forms. So I'm going to click on a student and I go to their forms tab. This is a student who I have not updated it. I just created this so it's going to be blank. I'll click view and then I can go through and, t and fill in which of the assessments does this student need an accelerated instruction plan for? So if they need reading but not math, if they do not, if they did not test in the previous grade level, like this is a fifth grade student and science and social studies was not applicable, you can leave that blank. You can scroll down and you'll see any of the most recent STAR data. You can always refresh. If there was any assessment given, um, since the uh, since the form was assigned any of these boxes you can type in this student was not absent they did test but if they had been absent i could enter in information about the beginning of your assessment that would demonstrate a student's mastery of the previous grade level so that they would not need an accelerated learning plan for this year scroll down and then you can set the date the date range for when is the accelerated instruction going to happen. You can click month by month. And set those dates. If they do not need a, an accelerated learning plan for this subject area, you would let, leave it blank. Then when you get to the content area, concepts and skills information, describe in detail what needs to be uh, done for this student. This is something where you can type in any information that you would need to include for the student. Then, when you get to when will instruction, accelerated instruction be provided, these boxes you can select multiple boxes at a time or click not required. You can give more information about when by typing in this box. And as you're and as you're progress monitoring, you can uh, type in detailed notes to indicate the student's progress. At the end, you would update this uh, chart and let, the, let them know about the next steps for next year. You can only select one option for each subject area. If you decide to refer to uh, RTI, you would click that box and make your, the, date, uh, the date the decision was made to refer. And then type in the staff member's name who will be entering. That information and then you'll see some options that come up. If your student is currently a fourth, sixth or ninth grader, you would also need to come to page two and document the Accelerated Learning Committee meeting notes page. Include the date that you sent the notice for the meeting and the actual date for the meeting. Then you would decide you would note who was present or attending via Zoom or who was not present or who was not required. You would put one choice on each line. If there's any feedback or notes that need to be made, you can enter it here and then enter the names of all of the attendees. After you are finished making changes, you want to click the Save button. You'll see a waiting bar down here at the bottom. Sometimes it does take a while to actually save, so be patient. You'll know when your um, form has saved when there is a flash and it returns up to the top of the page, especially if you were down towards the bottom of the page. 
We always encourage that you click Save after um, making changes to the form. Clicking Mark as Updated does not save the form. It just sends an update, sends an email update to anybody who has, who is attached to this form as well. When finished with a form, you can click View All Forms to return to another form for the student or to be able to go on to something else.